Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20, and welcome to episode 21 of Direwolf20's Dungeons, Dragons, and Space Shuttles Let's Play series. Uh, last episode, we had fun playing with a little uh, dark magic-y type stuff. Got into some blood magic, a uh, little bit of evil craft, not much though yet. Um, and we kind of got stuck along the way, uh, because in order to progress through blood magic any further, in order to make a weak blood orb, we're going to need a compressed diamond. Not a big deal. Pretty easy to get. Uh, in order to do that, we need an enrichment chamber. In order to make an enrichment chamber, we need an enriched alloy, which needs a metallurgic infuser. Uh, so the metallurgic infuser also happens to be the very next quest uh, to complete in the main quest line, which I presume will open up quest line chapter two, and probably immediately thereafter have me making an enrichment chamber, which shouldn't be too bad at this point because we've got opium, we've got tin, we can make cool and cells. It should be straightforward. Hey, guess what's in my advanced crafting table ready to be crafted? Yay! Guess what? I have almost everything else that I need to to make uh, an enrichment chamber. Me, hooray! Quest complete, metallurgic infuser, booyah! That's what's up. Legendary loot bags, Inferium Essence, all kinds of good rewards. I am excited. Uh, let's claim those. Cool. So I got this to put away. I can put away my Inferium Essence. And I got some photovoltaic cells, which are good at making photovoltaic cell twos, but also, I presume, some kind of... Yeah, there you go. Solar panel for extra utilities. All right, well, that's cool. You can make the extra utility solar panel or the project red solar panel. Uh, and we would need five of them to make a solar panel tier three, which generates 32 forge energy per tick. Not bad. Not a terrible recipe overall to upgrade this guy. What's involved in crafting these? Just a little lapis and mirror? Not bad at all, recipe wise. Solar doesn't look like a terrible power source in this pack, which kind of is not what I'm used to. I'm used to solar being a bad power source, but uh, yeah, I will definitely take it. I will definitely take that. Anything good from our legendary loot bag? Loot bags have not been very lucky for me thus far. A Supremium Apple. I mean, I'm not, it's okay. Not the worst reward I've ever gotten. Definitely not the best. Metallurgic Infuser time. Let's do the thing. Um, I don't know that I have that much room up here. And that's kind of a thing. What I should do is move some of these things that I don't necessarily need right now. I should rearrange what we've got here for sure. Do you have a bucket's worth? Super close. Seed oil. Let me get like one peanut just so I can take this bucket out. I'm assuming one peanut would do. Where my peanuts at? There's some. There's some peanuts. Okay. Uh, so I think it was just I'm assuming it. Where does seed oil come from? Do, do, do. I thought it was just, oh, that's right, the squeezer. All right, I probably already moved it. All right, forget it, I don't care. Uh, let's move you. I'm gonna put this thing away. And I really probably wanna move these things and get them out of there, but we'll do that in a minute. I wanna clear out all the refined canola oil, uh, or at least find a good way to do it. I should sort in a tank. That's what I should do. I should get a tank of some kind. Uh, I think stone tank would probably be the best one to get. That's 16 buckets. Copper is doable, but a lot more effort. Um, and what was tin? Yeah, everything else beyond that needs the elite crafting table, which I don't... I don't see why I couldn't make right now. I could absolutely make this right now. That's 100% craftable at this point. I'm suspecting that might come uh, come pretty soon. But for now, we'll just do stone. How's that sound? I might even have all the stuff for it. We'll see. Nope, just need more smooth stone. That's right, because you need compressed smooth stone for those things that we were making. And uh, that's a lot of smooth stone. We're going to have to ramp up our smooth stone production to be sure. All right, so real quick, just made a couple servos. It's just iron plates and red alloy ingots, so really not hard to make. Uh, so I think what I'll do is stick you... If I put you here, are you going to get the canola oil? Yeah, that's not what I wanted, Chief. But it's okay. Uh, let's do this. Buckets, buckets. And then if I put you here, would you drain? No, but what I could do to fix this little derp. I was just curious how like the auto output worked. But that should work, right? Theoretically? 
maybe? All right, making progress. A couple wood tanks later, because that was easier to get going, and uh, we should be cool now. So you're doing your thing, you're doing your thing. And then in theory, this can go here with this removed, and we should be cool. Okay, good deal. Uh, let's put you away, and I'm gonna put you in here. And that should be nice. Beautiful, see it filling up? Nice, all right, cool, cool, cool. So now that that's all cleaned up, right, uh, organizing inventory. So like I said, we'll probably get into the canola press and, and use crystallized canola oil for something in the future. Uh, I'm just not sure when I'm going to want to jump into that, right? We're kind of doing a mix of tech and not tech and a couple other things, right? So we're kind of just like, I'm not entirely sure where everything is going to land. Um, we also need, like, eventually a basement for Power Jam. We need to expand this base so we can have more machine rooms, right? Like, obviously, I'm just kind of uh, building stuff willy-nilly here. And uh, that's that's not going to be able to last for that long, right? But, hey, we have a metallurgic infuser. So that's cool. Which means that we've unlocked tier two main quest line. So you want me to make an advanced control circuit. Ooh, and that'll get me some stuff. Look at that. All right, cool. Let's get that on the docket. So that should be easy enough to make now. I just need steel and some basics and all that stuff. And what I would love is if soon I could make a carpenter. Tell me if soon I can make a carpenter. Eh, we need empowering. We need empowering before we can make a carpenter. To make an empower needs a lot of stuff. The empower looks like uh, it looks like a lot of stuff. I'm just trying to see if there's anything here that's like not doable at this point. Lunar reactive dust, tough alloys. Can that be like it can? All right. So I mean, it doesn't look it doesn't look impossible. It doesn't really look impossible. Um, let's just check what the other component, the display stand. That looks like your standard recipe, so that's actually not terrible at all. Uh, that might be doable soon, because if I could get a carpenter, it makes things a little bit better in terms of the ability to make things. Uh, but as a reminder here, we want to use mana steel for this process. So let's make sure we've got some and if we don't we'll get some more let's just go outside at night that sounds like a good idea right everybody loves going outside at night no this is gonna be fine we're safe we're totally safe run away brave sir robin all right now we're safe so uh yeah let me make some more basic control circuits uh we're gonna need super glue and all this stuff we'll be right back i'm just gonna make it off camera so normal recipe for sandy coal compound by the way sand and a block of coal and some clay and sawdust but uh you can make it oh, let's see what's this recipe that makes six huh this makes four metallurgic infuser huh that's cool we got one of those don't we uh sandy coal compounds yeah that's what's up so one block of coal and eight sand gets me four of them so that's pretty nice okay just uh you know checking out as we tech up we get you know, better better resources and stuff, and that's kind of cool, right? Better better access to better smeltings. I like that. I do. I really do. I like I like the whole like it's difficult to make early on, but as you advance, better things happen. How cool is that? I think it's cool. Call me crazy. Uh, that's right. We want the mana steel version, and then we need the punch and the small cutters. The punch and the small cutters. That looks doable. Sweet. I'm gonna put you guys away for a minute and get all those. Nice. Okay, cool. Now if I wanna make this, oh wow, look at that, nice. All right, so we just need more super glue, I presume? Yeah, four of them sounds like a good time, or two of them, I guess. So it looks like uh, the recipe there is what? Two super glue. Oh, and we need uh, another one of those plate dudes. Wow, we're out of those already? kind of funny I guess we do burn through them a little bit quickly but still it's a little bit surprising that we're out of them so fast but whatever don't matter none I'll make an extra one of these and that looks good to me nice okay so hey quest complete advanced circuits I'm gonna take the block of steel because steel is still a bit of a hassle for me to make right now um, this is going okay right um, Goodness, that's a lot of things. I was hoping that would be a little bit easier. Steel ingots. Can I make them? 
in the metallurgic infuser now? Because that would make my life way loads better. Probably not. I'm not seeing it. The Blast Furnace can do it from Tech Reborn, which we might try. Uh, Steel Blend. I'm going to just see if there's any other sneaky way. But I don't think so. I'm not seeing anything besides, you know, turning steel into dust already. And I can't throw just coal in here, right? Oh, I can? Since when can I throw coal in there? It's kind of cool. was not aware. I wonder if there's, like, some other neat tricks I could do with this thing. Like, blood magic-y type tricks. Mm, we'll see. But I'll let this thing continue to cook up while we get back to work. So with that guy taken care of, you want me to make enriched alloy, uh, which obviously needs a metallurgic infuser, which obviously we need to make now. So there's... Um, your metallurgic infuser. So that is um, steel is required for this. Okay. All right, so it's five redstone per. Okay, that doesn't look too bad. And obviously we can like, you know, do the thing, right? Uh, do, 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 and all that good stuff. The mechanism-y thing, right? Um, the compressed dude, compressed redstone. That just needs an enrichment chamber, which we're about to make, I presume. Enrichment chamber is usually the next thing. Hey, look, the elite crafting table. Remember I said we were going to get one of those soon? Nice. Energy tablet, advanced cube. Nice. Uh, you can go over here, cable. Now the question is, ooh, easy blocks, easy life. Nice. First jetpack components. Ooh. Ooh, that sounds cool. Um, kind of want to follow the Elite Crafting Table quest, uh, but I think an energy tablet might do me well. Let's do that real quick, because it looks easy. Um, oh, you want two energy tablets? Two? Really? Killing me, Smalls. Thanks, buddy. There you go. That'll cook, and let's go into our inventory. I'm gonna make this stuff off camera real quick. I wanna, I wanna make the uh, enrichment chamber, and I might just do that outside of the quest. I'm just curious, like, what will happen after this advanced cube quest. Okay, so that's two silicon. Boom, boom. That gets me a battery. Boom, boom. Now I just need some glass and that energy cell, and that should be cool. So you can go away, and you can go away. A little bit of glass, which I thought I had some of. Did I use it all already? I might have used it all already. I thought I had, like, some glass. Could have sworn I had some glass. Maybe not. Oh, found it. <laughs> it was still smelting. Dire, please. See, I knew I had it. But now I should be able to pick... Oh, that's right. I have I have that basic energy cube here. Yeah, let's upgrade this dude. Oh, you're going to be a nuisance, aren't you? You're going to make me place this all by hand. Brutal. Brutal. That's what I say to you. And then the two cubes, and then it's osmium, steel, osmium. And that should work. Nice. All right, cool. I'll take it. Uh, this holds how much RF? 3.2 million. By comparison to the 1 million that that holds, not bad. Not bad. I haven't entirely decided how these two energy sources are going to play a role here, basically. Um, you know, there's, there's options, clearly. Um, like, you could be set up to just output out the back. Right, so you should be getting power now. You know what? The front could be green. And what we could do is just you're outputting out the back, right? Nice. That'll drain into the cell then, and then we have just a bigger energy buffer, which will be good because obviously having a bigger energy buffer would be nice. Cool. So just out of curiosity, did that do anything for us quest-wise? Not really. Got us some Inferium, and that's about it. Not terrible, though. All right, let's go straight to what I want to do, which is make the enrichment chamber, right? Uh, which we should have most of what we need for at this point, except for the fact that I probably derped it up. Um, but I had most of what I needed 
a minute ago. All right, cool. So two copper gears and that enriched doohickey, which is just a piece of steel and five redstone, so that shouldn't be too bad. Cool. I'm just going to make an extra one because I threw an extra piece of redstone in there by mistake. Good deal. I'm going to put you over here, buddy. All right. So to make this thing, the only other thing we need is a couple more copper gears. See, I had most of what I need. Oh, those are bronze gears. Oh, my bad. I can make bronze. Induction smelter? That should be cool. So the other thing I need is four ovium. Uh, and I'm gonna pulverize you, ovium, because that works. And that'll get me what I need to make my 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 coolants. So I need three 10k coolant cells, which is easy, right? Just a little bit of water and snow, as you guys may recall from a couple episodes back. I think I made a few of these, you know, between episodes on camera. Um, but we still have a decent amount of snow laying around. Nice. And Ovium, remember, not terribly hard. You can you can craft it too, which is nice. Not super hard to get. Okay, an induction smelter, you should be done by now. Which means my bronze gear should be good. And boom, enrichment chamber. Nice. That's what's up. Cool, so I can throw a diamond in there and now I can get a blood orb, right? Or was it a mana diamond? No, it's a regular diamond. It's a regular diamond. Right? And we can also do like the redstone enrichment thingy too. All right, let's do the thing. So uh, we've got a little bit of life essence in there. Hopefully we have enough. Maybe not. Hooray, we have enough now. Bang. Oh yeah, we blood orb quest complete. Bound to the dire. Nice. All right. So that's pretty useful. And we have access to elite crafting now. So that's actually a lot of good good progress to be made. Uh, I guess I'll take the epic loot bag. That sounds like a good time. Even though I've had really bad luck with loot bags, and I continue to have really bad luck with loot bags apparently. Um, I mean, yeah, we have these cool magnesium dudes, but they don't... I don't think they come into play for a while. I might be wrong. Maybe they'll come into play sooner than later. But, meh. I still have got this nice platinum chest plate. So that iron chest plate? Mm, not too excited about it. All right. So what else do we want to do today? That's a good question. So it looks like the next thing to make is the coat of arms, which uh, it's armor that when you wear it um, and you kill mobs, right? Oh, look at that. Automation is great, isn't it? Isn't it great? Some iron plates. It's armor that when you wear it and kill mobs, it'll automatically absorb LP, which is cool, right? Uh, that's pretty nifty. Uh, in order to get that, though, we're going to need a little bit of iron. And we're going to need a wood tank, which actually I think I've got an extra one of. Because I was messing with those earlier. And uh, we'll also need some runes. I really, like I said, like to ramp up into blood magic pretty quickly because getting a rune of air would be awesome. And that's not too end gamey. Rune of air, or uh, sigil of air. This guy. Air sigil. Yeah, like that's totally attainable to us really quickly. We just need reinforced slates, which is a tier two blood altar. Um, and I mean, like, that's doable, I think. So I'd be all about making an air sigil and flying around with it like that would be super cool so that's kind of that's kind of my goal right now if we could work towards that it would be sweet all right cool coat of arms quest complete booyah the only problem with the coat of arms uh and i guess i'll take blank slates because they are actually a little bit annoying to make the only problem i think with the coat of arms is you have to wear it as a backpack or as, as a chest plate right um and i don't think you can add it to existing armor which is also kind of a bummer Right um, now, the other one that we could do, since we're doing like the self-sacrifice bit, would be the blood letters pack. Will passively harm you and store LP in the pack, but won't bring you down below half health. I mean, I mean, I don't know if I want to do that right now. I think I'll just take care of my own 
LP situation for now. I'm not gonna, I mean, it sounds like a good idea on paper, but I'm not sure I love the idea, right? Now I already have a lesser Tardic gem. I took care of that between episodes a while back and that gets me some nice rewards. So I'll be happy with that. Cool. All right, so put you away. Uh, and then moving on is the lava crystal. The lava crystal is used as a replacement fuel source in furnaces. This is what I was talking about before with the steel thing. I wonder if it'll work. Rather than losing durability, the crystal drains 25 life essence from the player's network for operation. In order to use the lava crystal, it must be bound to the player. Yada, 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 yada. So this thing is kind of cool. And actually, it looks really easy to make. Three buckets of lava, and that's it. Uh, okay. Maybe we just need another bucket, and then we should be groovy. Right? So you and three iron. You know, I'm just gonna throw these all in here because why not? We could always use more iron. That's my uh, that's my point of view. I'm gonna put away some junk and be right back. Okay, three buckets of lava and maybe a creeper attacking me. Oh, what's up, buddy? I survived. I'm good. Run away. A couple obsidian and a diamond. And my blood orb. And I think there was glass in there, right? And then lava crystal. Cool. Now here I want to test this, right? So I want to understand, right? And the other thing is the sigil. Don't I have a sigil of sight? Didn't I make one of those? Divination sigil, yeah, that, right? So I've got 400 LP. Ouch, that was close. I've got 1600 LP, right? I'm gonna take this coal out of here. I'm gonna let this operation finish smelting based on the coal that it had, right? And then I'm gonna put the lava crystal in there and I'm curious if it'll work. Cause that would be kind of cool, right? It wouldn't be too bad. And if we're gonna be doing a lot with the self-sacrifice LP production thing, we should really have better food. Like really, really. Like, that should kind of be a priority for me. I should I should absolutely be working on that. So we'll have to, we'll have to decide if that's what our next task might be. All right, so you're done. You're at 80%, right? I tossed this in here. No, the lava crystal does not go in there, right? So that's a that's that's what we learned that today. Well, okay, can you go in there? Nope, that's a shame. Okay, not super concerned. I was just curious, right? But uh, hey, we got those rewards, and I got a potentia sphere from Evilcraft infused with blood to make an ender pearl. Oh, neat. That's cool. I'll toss you in there as that random thing. Okay, cool. Uh, and hey, you want the incense burner? Yeah, I do. I definitely want one of those. Remember, those are nice. Hey, I need two of those potentia spheres. Never mind. Give me a back. Luckily, it wasn't too hard to make. Glowstone, lapis, and redstone. Right. Oh, and a slime ball. And a slime ball. Uh, I think I've got slime balls. I've got something slimy. Yep. Okay. Good. They stack. Uh, anything else? The lava crystal, two dark gems, and a block of gold. Shouldn't be too bad. Oh, right. Gold blocks are a hassle. I forgot. All blocks are a hassle. And yes, I have a quest. I have a quest to make it less of a hassle. I know. Man, we have a lot of junk in here, don't we? I should clean this out every now and then because I'm constantly like, is any of this stuff going to mix with gold and make me annoyed? Not that it would be the end of the world, but annoyed is definitely the right word for it, right? Oh, I didn't want to do that. Oh. Don't do that to me, Lumium. Eh, I'll figure it out later. Just do that and we'll be cool. All right. And with that, we should have everything we need for an incense altar, right? Yeah, I think we're pretty good. Nice. Incense altar equals way better self sacrifice -y stuff. Um, it just hurts a little bit more, but in a good way, because it gives you lots more LP for the uh, same amount of health, which will be good. So incense altar it up. Hooray! Ooh, look at that. Oh, which of those do I want? Mechanical pipe, universal cape, or logistical transporter, huh? Been a while since I played with any of these. That ain't too bad. That is also not too bad. Although I don't think I can actually make this right now. I don't think I've uh, gotten that far. So how about the pipe? 
Sure. That's the fluids one, right? Just in case I decide I need it at some point. And hey, that's those are pretty good, remember. Those are really good. Uh, tier 1 incense altar starts at 0 tranquility and a bonus of 20. Uh, use the divination sigil on the incense altar to see the current tranquility bonus. Uh, yeah. Pretty cool. There you go. Hey, look, he gave us the uh, in-game values of things. That's cool. Nice. All right. Let me look up my uh, tranquility cheat sheet, and we'll be right back. Real quick, Horn of the Wild, which I think was a quest, wasn't it? I don't know. Yeah, it was. Ho, ho, ho. The best. The literal best. There's no better way to clear out that nonsense. Tall grass, please. Okay. Look at all the junk we've accumulated. Sweet. Warning, horn of the war. Uh, yeah, that thing breaks the sanguine rose. So just be aware. All right, let's go set this thing up. Okay, so we're all set here. Um, so right now we get a 20% bonus to tranquility, right? Um, and this thing should be all lit up and glowing. I'm going to lay down some smooth stone, right? And then once we get a tier two altar, we can make this better, right? But for now, we get to do that. And that's, you know, pretty good. We'll get this going in a better way soon, but you get the idea. Also, it's getting dark out there, so I'm running away. But yeah, so the basics are there. Um, we need to get a tier two altar so we can get a tier two blood orb so that we can get better things. Um, we can we can do the expansions once we get wood paths, which require at least an apprentice tier blood orb. Um, any other blood orb higher than or equal to apprentice is the gist, right? So uh, we got a little bit of ways to go there, but let's see what uh, what comes next, because tier two is where we're headed, right? So submit that claim reward. Cool. All right, tier two altar. That's what's up. So we need eight blood. <laughs> uh, we need eight of these. <laughs> to upgrade. <laughs> we need eight. That's a lot of blank slates. That's all I'm saying. One, two, three, four, five, ten, sixteen blank slates equals two. So it's eight blank slates per rune. Typically. It's what, two? So it's a little bit more expensive than we're used to. Um, definitely gonna hurt a little bit. Definitely gonna hurt a little bit. But we'll have to, we'll have to do the thing. So maybe off camera work, be right back. All right, so if I need all this stuff, right, uh, I'm heading into the Twilight Forest to get a bunch of cobblestone uh, so that we can get all this stuff, right? Because uh, we need compressed stone as a reminder, right? And cobblestone isn't exactly what I would call common in the overworld. Uh, because in order to make cobblestone, you have to do that thing, right? So how about we just pop in here, I thought to myself, and get all kinds of smooth stone. Works for me. So that's what we're doing, right? Um, I'm just going to keep voiding things that are not cobblestone at the moment. Um, obviously, you know, other stuff can stay. But get a bunch of cobblestone and then be right back. All right, so let's set up a little bit of automation here. There you go, sweet. Do I wanna hang on to a little bit of this stuff? Yeah, I'll be all right, that should be cool. All right, so that'll get me a bunch of smooth stone, right? So I can take this smooth stone, we can do that, boom. And that'll get me 18 worth of compressed stone. Not terrible, a little rough, little rough. Not gonna lie, but uh, I think we can manage. Uh, so I need a lot, I need a real lot. Like, should we math this out? If I want eight of these, and it's basically, all right, uh, eight per rune and we need eight runes, right? So it's 64, that's nice and easy. So we need a stack of blank slates before we can make a tier two altar. Okay, not the end of the world, not the end of the world to be sure. I guess we'll just have to make it do. 
So how about we do this? Let's wrap up the episode here. Oh no. He got regen. <laughs> All right, we're cool, we're cool. That was close. <laughs> that was really close. Is that thing protected? As long as it's claimed, I think we're cool. All right, let's do this. We'll wrap up the episode here, right? Uh, we'll come back next time and we'll uh, do more, right? So right now we're getting a 20% bonus from this. Not a huge one. Oh, look, it's a sniper. I don't think I have my... Uh... Where's my laser, dude? There he is. Yeah, I'm a sniper too, buddy. How's it going? <laughs> yeah. Shoot your arrows at me. I got a laser gun. And I'm not afraid to use it. All right, we'll come back next time. Uh, we will, uh, hopefully, what I'll do is between episodes, get myself a bunch of this stuff. And um, yeah, we'll be good. We'll be good. All right, for now, Doll 20 signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Uh, you know what to do. Take it easy.